Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I am your host, Craig Chamberlain, and this is the iCast series where you awesome people ask me questions, me, humble me, who is not quite so awesome, and I try to answer them to the best of my ability, and if I can't answer them, I try to redirect you to somebody who might be able to give you a little bit of advice, and that someone is probably Google. <laughs> So in this video, let's talk about a little bit of let's talk about that. Let's talk a little bit about overclocking. Okay, overclocking is kind of an art now, but it's also kind of been simplified to a level that a lot of people can do it. So what is overclocking? What's the point of it? When a hardware manufacturer produces a piece of hardware, say memory or processor or motherboard or uh, it could be any basically any piece of hardware in your computer, it is designed within factory specifications to work with the majority of people who purchase the product. So that when you go out and you buy a product, uh, such as, uh, I didn't throw in graphics card here, a graphics card, processor, memory, it's designed in stock, that's usually the word they uh, they use factory stock specifications to run at a certain speed all the time because they know that that running at this speed is the safest longest lifespan they can get out of it and it'll fit the most customers in a stability standpoint now all these products now are also designed in a way where they can be overclocked in other words you can get more out of the product than it was originally sold with as long as you have proper cooling and proper uh, environmental uh, circumstances and you're aware that you know you have uh, you you're aware that what you're doing is that you're you're beefing up the hardware in a way that will take it out of factory specifications. Now many processors uh, such as Intel and Athlon are actually pre-designed for certain overclocks and, uh, and anymore they don't even tell you what the cap is. Uh, they say as long as you operate within these operating temperatures and uh, you, you're getting stability and you do your proper clocking then you, you'll be fine. As long as you can keep that cooling down and you can keep it running cool, then it's usually safe to just keep keep pumping more juice into it. I mean, and it could be either, uh, obviously, operating voltages. You can't just keep pumping juice into it. You'll burn it up. But I, what I'm kind of getting at here is the factory knows that people are going to do this when it ships out, and, and they usually have specifications designed uh, as far as temperature and voltage range to keep that product stable. And... Uh, and that's kind of what overclocking is. It's taking a, a standard piece of hardware that was shipped to you from the factory and get the most out of it as you can. Now, the, the, one of the disadvantages to that is that when you, when you pump extra juice into a, a piece of hardware, you can reduce the lifespan of that hardware, or you probably will reduce the lifespan of that hardware, because typically that piece of hardware runs hotter, and that really depends on your cooling. So you hardware techs out there, remember, I, I'm fully aware of how this works. I'm just trying to simplify it in a way that everybody can understand. Um, but it, 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 theoretically, you're going to run it hotter. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have to pump out more juice, which will reduce the lifespan of it. But remember, hardware doesn't really have a long life cycle anymore. So let's say you have a graphics card that traditionally running on the standard speed out of stock would run last like eight years. Who's going to really run a graphics card for eight years? In two years, you could probably buy that exact same graphics card on eBay for like a tenth of the price. So the idea is with the hardware guys that are overclocking, they're like, listen, I'm going to get the most juice out of this, the most bang out of my buck right out of the box, and I'm going to overclock the heck out of this thing. And even if it gets a lower lifespan and it dies out in two years from use, I'll just buy another one in two years if I, if I want it. I'll buy a new one or I'll rebuy this one in two years and it'll be a fraction of the cost. And then I'll overclock it again, or I'll run it at standard factory specs. So the idea behind overclocking is you're just taking a standard piece of hardware and you're, uh, you're getting more out of it than it was originally designed to run. And Well, not designed, but originally specified to run. I can't say designed because a lot of it is designed to run faster. It just factory specs uh, fit more stability. So that's what overclocking is in a nutshell. Now, I can't go into real, really the details of how, of how it's done in this video, but the idea is, is typically lots of tools are available to you now. Even the graphics cards manufacturers, NVIDIA and uh, ATI and them, they provide the tools necessary to do the overclocking of your graphics card if your graphics card is capable of doing that. They've kind of learned that if they allow people to use third party, it's going to cost them more money in the long more money in the long run because people will burn it up. So they've kind of provided their own tools with their own... A unique set of testing so that they can hopefully retain the lifespan of your hardware. And there's also a, a motherboard uh, software and BIOS packages that actually are, are integrated now that allow for overclocking and you do that straight into the BIOS. Now you're going to want to do a lot of research before just blindly overclocking something so make sure you do some homework. Be, feel, feel free to ask some questions 
uh, to, to a community or um, you can come come to my community, PCM Techies, and I can try to get something straightened out. I'm not, a, I'm not an overclocking expert, but I can hopefully find some generalized answers or get you in the direction of somebody who can help you. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And uh, it always helps me if you share, if you share with your friends, if you think this is useful information. And uh, don't forget to also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And I'm also on Empire Avenue uh, <laughs> and on Cloud. And follow me on cloud because there's ev everybody's on cloud. Everybody's following each other on cloud. Not really. So stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come and I'll see you guys in the next one.